Hi everyone, Rebecca here. It's been a while since I did a, a book chat, but I just feel in, um, compelled to do this. I kind of stopped for a while because I got some negative feedback um, on the review or the chat that I did about Bruce Pascoe's Young Dark Emu. And so to not shy away from controversy, I'm actually going to do this one. Okay, I'm going to talk to you about this book here, Azaria True History. Now, if you're not Australian, then you probably are not familiar with the story of Azaria Chamberlain. Essentially what happened was uh, in the 80s uh, a family went to Uluru and while there a uh, dingo got into the tent of their, their where they were staying and took a baby, uh, Azaria, and the baby was killed and eaten um, but the mother was blamed. Uh, Lindsay Chamberlain was blamed for the death of the child and she was actually imprisoned. Uh, that imprisonment was later quashed. So this is the story. Uh, it has been written uh, for children. Uh, it is gentle. Um, it doesn't go into gruesome details, but it really gets you thinking about the impact of media. And I have to say, even as an adult, because I was um, probably about 10 when this occurred, that I still have prejudice myself. You know, I, I keep thinking to myself, oh, but Lindy Chamberlain could have done it. But really, the, there is no evidence that the scientific evidence was proven to not be true. Um, so anyway, so let's just get into the book. The book itself um, has these most amazing illustrations. Now you probably can't see it. I would say to you, go and have a look online. But this, this I didn't pick it up when I first picked the book up. It's actually a, a, a picture of um, Azaria um, put over the top of Uluru. And if you look carefully at the shadow, you have the dingo. Just the most, just so much visual literacy could be picked up. From just looking at the book you just have to look so carefully now as my daughter said she said she didn't like the illustrations and I have to say I was expecting something different with the illustrations um, just the way that even uh, Lindsay Chamberlain and her family uh, treat it uh, the illustrations of them it's just not something I would have expected but there's just so much to learn from it it is just amazing and I have to say um, you know, you've got like, they kissed Azaria goodnight and there's the kiss sitting on her, her, her head. Um, you, I'm just trying to find the page. The most compelling page, the one that I think just so many people could learn something from, was actually this one about the media and how we got to the point where Lindy was actually uh, convicted. And this one here, just all the different news reports. Now, the thing with the book is that it doesn't actually give you a list within the book of where those articles came from. What they say is that you should go to the website um, and the website will give you where that information came from. There are teacher's notes and resources that go with the book as well um, and you need to go to the web page. But I have bought this from my school library um, because I think it's a really important thing for kids to be aware of, you know, the impact that media can play on telling a story and looking at getting people convicted. Um, so go have a look. Um, it might be a while before it hits your public library. I picked this copy up at Dimmix um, and I'm actually really happy that I did. Just really quite amazing. Go have a look. Thanks.